a sense of normalcy at the University of Pretoria. Classes resumed without disruption. UP was closed for over a week following clashes over the university's language policy. Only students and staff were allowed on campus. The security all around and we see uh, security guards in tactical uniform and they you know, with their shin guards and stuff like that. It makes us as students feel uneasy. According to the experience that we had, we're glad that we have security and we're glad that campus is open. The university says it will not be held to ransom. But if, if students won't back down. One of our reasons why we are saying Africans must follow the population our reasons, we said that these two languages are creating a division of the student body. There's a group of African students which do everything alone, a group of African and English students which do everything alone. Also, a large police contingent at the University of the Free State. Lectures were suspended early last week after violent protests and calls for Rector and Vice-Chancellor Professor Jonathan Janssen to step down. Anyone who wanted to make a submission from the community, from private sector, from government, from among the students and staff, we made sure that there's, uh, there are days for discussion. Government also condemned the recent violence. Where students now vandalize properties and institutions of higher learning, even uh, burning down a brand new laboratory in Cape Town and so on, that will not solve the problem of South Africa. They have identified what are these challenges that they are standing in the way for higher education. But we cannot vent our grievances by burning down government property. Security remains heavy on campuses. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News.